No! Why do I hit a foot behind it every single time? Is that you? This video is going to help you to stop hitting so far behind. My name's Brian Fitzgerald, the golf doctor, and I've been playing golf for over 50 years and I've been teaching golf for 38 years. And that's the shot I see so many people doing. And the fix is actually quite simple, but people have the wrong concept because when they're thinking bunker shot, there's this term that gets thrown around explosion shot. You see vast quantities of sand being moved in my mind when I hear that. That's not really a bunker shot. It's not an explosion shot. The only thing that comes close to an explosion shot is when the ball is buried in the sand, but that's another video, which I've already created, so you can search for it on my channel. This is really all about taking very little sand. Now, if I put a line in the sand like that, and I take my setup, if I'm pulling the club down, my club is gonna hit somewhere back this side of the line. So if you're playing bunker shots and you're hitting a long way behind the ball, it's generally because you're pulling the club down with your hands and in particular your left hand is extremely tight. So the follow through gets your hands in, in close here. So it's sort of doing this, then you try and get some momentum and you do that and you've got really short arms through the shot. That's what you see. As soon as you're doing that, you're coming down steep. The leading edge digs in. We want the back of the club or the, the bounce of the club to interact with the sand. We don't want to come down like that. So what instead we need to do is allow our hands to get used. And the right hand crosses over past the left hand. If I do that, I'm hitting much closer to the line than when my hands are pulling down. So I've made plenty of bunker shots uh, videos before. You can go and look at that. I'll put a link at the top of the screen to those. But really, all we need to do here is focus on letting the right hand cross over past the left, get some width in our follow through. We are hitting under the ball and hitting sand, but we're not digging deeply. We want to engage the back of the sand wedge. So all I need to do is let the right hand work. The ball comes out. It's a pretty easy shot. Focus on letting that happen. So practice it. All the bad bunker shots I see, we get people in this position, little chicken wing, bent left elbow. We want our elbow to be slightly bent, but not tucked in. If you can do that, you're going to hit better bunker shots and we'll have no more of that first guy that we saw at the start of the video. If you want to play better bunker shots, I'm going to put a link to a video at the top of the page there that is going to really help you with your bunker play.